What's up, YouTube? This is Sea Dog, and I'm finally back. And I'm going to do reviews daily again. I finally got all the electric cords, extension cords, electric plugs, lights, everything found and plugged in, ready for reviews. So this is on Leader Ironhide. So real quick, we'll just take a quick look at the box. Got Transformers Dark of the Moon. Shows Ironhide's little truck mode right here. You can read that if you want to pause and read. There's his stats before when they used to actually do stats. And then on the back we have his gimmicks, his chest cannon, cannons on the truck mode, and you can read that if you'd like as well. You got Transformers Dark of the Moon and so some cross cells. Alright, so here he is out of the packaging. This is the top kick, and it actually says that on the box, I believe. Let's actually check real quick. Yep, top kick mode. So you get the GMC's top kick here. It's a 4x4. It's a really big truck. Almost as big as a semi mode, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Got a few gimmicks here. You can pull these smokestacks. Get the cannons, same on this side. Got his other cannon. So he's all weaponed up in truck mode, and then you just push him back to get him to go back. He rolls on all four wheels. So, nicely done rolling. And this will kind of go in, but it doesn't steer, so don't mistake it for that. But as you can see, he's got nice translucent windows. He's got the correct lighting. I figured I'd do Iron Hide since I've gotten a lot of requests over the years for him. And uh, uh, she has got his road armor on. You can see under here, road armor. So that's pretty cool. But uh, put the Autobot symbol on the back. We got painted tail lights. Something they don't do very much anymore. But because of the masterpiece Iron Hide is coming out, and we'll be getting that soon, I figured it's time to do Iron Hide. And because I moved, so I found him. I'm in a new place. As you can see, we have a new space to do a reviews in. But uh, yeah, so let's pick that together in a little better. I guess it doesn't want to but yeah so not bad rolls pretty good this is a three inch three and three quarter inch figure i got it it's, it's not bad from uh 2007 got waist swivel knees and stuff it's a keychain that's what they used to make keychains like pretty cool but so that's the size comparison i have for you if you have that figure <laughs> i'm sorry not not 100 percent out yet with everything but to transform him you want to take the sides here and just kind of loosen up spots right here unpugs and right here unpegs and then go around this mirror this door thing actually we'll take that first and bring that back that's the first thing and yeah that's just automatic i guess or it went with it never mind on a second guys you want that underneath there like that <laughs> okay next next we do these so you, you have a seam here and a seam here and you bring these up just like that and you fold these under same thing on this side bring this up fold under so we have them like this <laughs> next you want to take the arms and they're pegged in you can see the the grace I think it's gray or it's black, but it's turning like it looks gray. But that strip right there pegs. You see the little slot? It pegs on top of this peg right here. It's on ratchets. Same thing here. Peg that slot, that tab. And then this will for go forward, but just for now, just get them out of the way like this. Next, you want to bring this up, and these peg in on the bottom here. There's a tab translucent and you just unpeg those a little bit and then you kind of get it to go around and bring that up when you're done with this you want to take that tab right here this translucent tab and slot it in here i think you can do this first and then you bring that back like this next up you want to take these and these are on really delicate ball joints so you just want to be careful when you pull it and you want to take the tab right here and stick it in the hole right there. 
at an angle like that on both sides again careful with the ball joint and just pull it around and as you can see it fell off because it likes to be a pain in the ass like that and yeah this side is always a pain for some reason and you just peg it in there like that and you take these and you fold these back <laughs> all right and then you take the wheels and you fold them in just like that boom already getting somewhere then you go back up here if this is all re-undone and sorry about that and you click them like that you want to bring these up um, and there's a slot right here and you tab it into this slot right here like that then you can bring this back or whatever that's for his arms. Same thing on this side. Put the slot in the tip. Just like that. Alright, next you want to take this, flip this up, flip this flap underneath. Unpeg these. There's a couple tabs you can see. Revert them 180 at the knees. Pull down his feet like that and you should get some toes too pull down his toes it helps um, then you just want to take these and and they, they kind of peg you can see the tab right there they peg in here just like that same thing on this side same thing they're already pegged but just like that and as you can see, this guy's already untabbing. Just like that. And there you go. We got Ironhide, Leader Ironhide, in his robot mode. So let me get them all situated. And there you go. Let's see if we can get some better light on him. There we go. But as you can see, he's still got the cannon. So you pull these back. Cannon out like that. And like that. Get articulation. You got the elbow bend. Nice deep elbow bend. More than 90. Bicep swivel. Let's get the hinge out. It's on a friction hinge. So that's good. If you get this out of the way, you can probably go up a little higher. And it also go front to back on that ratchet. Nothing in the head, although it's supposed to have a head swivel from what I'm told. And as you can see, these get unpegged a lot. So you just kind of have to work with them. And then he's got ratcheting hips that go out. Two, two or three clicks. Go forward pretty good. He's got a couple... Things at the knees and then this one only has one so what you have to do is you have to take this spot right here and dremel that out or do or cut it out somehow so he can bend because he does have the ratchet there and he does have the joint so this is just a uh, malfunction on Hasbro's part because of this gimmick so you have that and there's a missile that's in the box you can probably see it um no, well, it's over right here. Anyways, but you can pop that in afterwards. But it's a pretty cool gimmick. It just works on its own. But it's not cool enough for to mess up the articulation. And but the rest of his joints work the same. He's got the out, front to back. And he's got feet that go front and back. So you can go front and back, which is good. And toes. Toe joint as well. So, not bad. I like to have them all hunched a little bit. And then this side has a gimmick as well. You can pull out his knife. And these are all removable parts. So you can see the three pegs where he pulls it off. And he can hold it as well if you want. So, not bad. Pretty cool. I know people wanted to see this toy. So, I wanted to do a quick review on my first day back. And I will be doing lots of reviews. I have lots of stuff to show. So... Um, another gimmick he has 
is back here is you know, this little piece of it right here pulling. And some people take this whole piece off, but if you do that, you won't have that voice. So, but he has green eyes as well. Can you see the green eyes? Let's see, hold on. I know it's annoying, but a little bit. But uh, yeah, so that's my review for Ironhide, Dark of the Moon, Leader Class. Uh, let me know what you think of the figure and the review. And if you want to see any others, let me know. And leave a like for if you liked the video. Subscribe for more toy reviews. And as always, stay awesome, stay subbed, and stay tuned for the next video. But I have one more gimmick to show you. Pulling on this thing. Gives him his Gatling gun. So, yeah. Alright, peace to Ezra. I'm a wrap.